we're leaving the River Thames behind and descending deep underground into London's newest megastructure, the Thames Tideway Tunnel. While engineers can still walk the tunnel for now, that won't be the case for long. In a year or so's time, this will be filled with sewage, so we wouldn't want to be here. Uh, but this is it. This is, this is kind of one small part of 25 kilometres of tunnel that snakes right under London. The tunnel's route runs from West London to sewage treatment works on the Thames estuary. It's being built to deal with a major problem for London's iconic river. When it rains, the only overflow for the city's Victorian sewage system is the Thames. And as the city's grown, that's become a regular occurrence. When the system was built, this happened quite infrequently, a couple of times a year, perhaps. Now this happens an average of once a week. And so in a typical year, 40 million tonnes of storm sewage, which is sewage and rainwater, spills directly into the Thames. Tunnelling was completed in 2022 after seven years of work. When it becomes fully operational in 2025, it should remove 95% of the waste that currently goes into the Thames. But while this costly project is impressive, the record of UK water companies more generally is under fire. Here on the Isle of Wight, residents can check an app to see if there have been recent sewage discharges. But campaigner Chani Kind says that didn't stop one of her children getting ill when a discharge started while they were at the beach. I know at least one of my friends had um, the same problem with a similar age child on a different beach and a couple of wild swimmers that I know had um, issues with their eyes and UTI infections as well. Um, so yeah, they, people are getting sick. Environment agency figures show that in 2022 there were on average more than 800 sewage spills per day in UK waterways. While there is now increased awareness of the problem, Matthew Frith of the London Wildlife Trust says that improvements still aren't being made quickly enough outside the capital. We've got water companies that are getting a lot of money. We're getting, we've got a government regulator. What's it doing? So some are taking their responsibilities quite innovatively, but whether there's that level of investment that we've got in London, I'm not sure that's the case yet. Many of England's water companies are already under financial pressure, with critics blaming this on mismanagement after they were privatised in the 1980s. Despite rising debts, most companies have still been paying out millions in dividends to shareholders. While the Tideway Tunnel should help clean up London's famous river, the prospect of a wider improvement for Britain's waters is a long way off.